uh, Alola, YouTube, I have a really bad deck because, honestly, don't even know why. I had money, spent it for some serotonin, spent it on this, probably a mistake. Uh, it's Neon Nectar. This deck is fucking awful. Oh my god, is that Gabe Feldinger, the, the three-time Neon Nectar clan leader? What year is this? Um, Arboros Dragon were two, and because there are cards that want you to have Arboroses in the soul, so you want that. Also, they remade a ride chain, so aesthetic, I guess. Uh, four copies of, uh, Maiden of Trailing Rose version two. So... That's really all this card is, is while it's on Van, all of your tokens are upgraded so they become 10Ks with 10 shield, intercept, and boost. And you can sack uh, any rear guard to call up to two tokens, and if you have a full field, Sephiroth gets 10K, you can use that on Van or rear. Uh, doesn't work in premium, and all it does in standard is be a slightly better trailing rose. So, yeah, it didn't help the deck at all. Because it didn't help the deck at all, our finisher is still going to be uh, White Lily, Musketeer, Cecilia. Because, uh, you know what's cool about games is, you know, winning them sometimes. And this is the only way you can do that. Because Sephiroth being a 23k beater, if you have a board, uh, not good enough. So if you forgot what she did in, like, the eight months that Neo Nectar has not been relevant... It's Counterblast 1, Sack or Rear Guard, check top 5, call 2. But if you have a 3 in the soul, you, you can call 3 from the top 5 instead, and your front row gets 10k. That sounds busted in tier 1. Ah ha 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 ha! Ah ha 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 ha! Ha! Uh, next, 4 copies of Arboros Dragon Timber. On place, the next time you call a token, it becomes upgraded. And on rear, it's Sylvia. It's basically a better Sylvia because it does the same thing on rear, and on van, you can potentially get an upgraded token, which is cool. But yeah, uh... And it's an Arboros, to have Arboros in the soul. Wow, thank you for your brilliant commentary, Richard. Uh, four copies of Gale of Arboros, Oliver, the only card that really isn't garbage from this new set. Uh, if you have two Arboroses in the soul, which he counts if you're on grade three, Counterblast one, you can use one of two effects. You can either call two tokens or retire an additional two for 20k and a crit to himself. What the fuck are you doing? So yeah, he can be a 30k two crit, which with Cecilia, he's a 40k two crit, and on a force two, he's a 40k three crit. So that's pretty neat. Last grade two is four copies of uh, Spiritual Tree Sage uh, Ermine Soul. If you have two tokens on place, Counterblast one, 5k to both cards in its column, and you draw a card. That's how you get hand power instead of just conserving hand from calling tokens. It's hand, which is neat. Next, four copies of Arboros Dragon Branch. Uh, van or rear, when it hits or it boosts a successful hit, but it can hit anything, not just Van. Check top four, add any Arboros, bottom of deck the rest. So if you're me, you'll check top four, they'll all be triggers, so you don't actually plus and you just get rid of four triggers. But hey, it's a potential free plus one on hit. That's kind of cool. Uh, four copies of Fruits Basket Elf, Soul Blast 1, kill itself for two tokens, and if you're on grade three, they get 5k. Uh, works cool with the upgrade, because if you're on Sephiroth, the tokens are 15Ks, which is kind of neat. And then last, uh, oh wait, not next, we got four copies of Maiden Happy Phone. It's Sylvia, but on rear guard only, so on place, call it token. It's a free token to anywhere, unlike Mirko, which is Soul Blast 1 to her column. And lastly, one copy of Grain Sprout, Maiden Enifa. On rear or guardian, uh, tokens... Uh, can't be targeted. What the hell does this do? Tokens in the same column can't or guardian can't be targeted and get 5k or um, 5k sh power and shield. So it makes the ones in its column bigger, and when you intercept with the new ones, their shields are bigger, which is cool. Uh, next trigger lineup is for heal. And then we're running 12 crit. So we got four of 
that dude, four of the old one, and four of the other old one. We're running 12 crit because uh, PGs don't mean much in an Excel meta, and uh, you don't, draw triggers don't kill your opponent, and this deck really needs to kill your opponent. You can serve hand by calling tokens anyway, so you really don't need the hand power from the draw trigger as much as you need to kill people. So yeah, this this is a force 2 deck if there ever was one, because you just really need to kill your opponent. And you already get enough power as it is. Yeah. Cool. Uh, that's it. Uh, please don't build this. It's really not good. It's not even fun. It's the exact same deck as it was a year ago. The tokens are just bigger. I, what are your thoughts on Sephiroth being an eighteen to twenty dollar card? The community is secondary market has been stupid for years, and we've known this. Um, I genuinely, especially given its price, I genuinely believe this deck isn't worth it. You can build Murakumo, a tier one deck, for like a third the price, at least at most half. So like, honestly, just do that. Please, just just do that. So yeah. Uh, we got these, though, which are really pretty. They're just little happy little guys. And that one is funny looking. Yeah, that's it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. You're gonna see this deck in games, and so, uh, if you like to see me in pain, there you go. Bye!